Hi guys, I am back with another what should I wear video. I did one of these in the summer and you guys really liked it and I actually found it really helpful to kind of see what's in my wardrobe. So I put something on Instagram and I asked you guys to give me scenarios, events, and then I basically have to put together outfits for those things. I am not a stylist or pretending to be one. This is not me telling you what to wear. It's kind of just you living through with me, like trying to figure out what to wear because I think a lot of us find it quite tricky, especially if you have like more of a casual style like I do. But it's a really good exercise to kind of see what's in your wardrobe and put together different outfits and a nice way for me to show you some of the things I've been enjoying wearing recently. Okay, so Georgia behind the camera is gonna shout out some scenarios she has picked from my Instagram and I have to figure out what to wear. It's gonna be the shoes. It's gonna be the shoes, it's hard. I find shoes so hard. Okay, I need to like gear myself up for this. Okay, a grown up house party. I always get so stuck balancing party and casual, but not looking 16. Oh my God, I so feel that. Okay, wait, house party. Yeah. Okay, well if it's a house party, I think you need to ask, is it a shoes on or shoes off situation? Because that makes a difference, right? If you're gonna to have to take your shoes off, that changes the length of your trousers what socks you wear, if any. <laughs> okay, so let's say it's a shoes on house party. Oh, house parties are tricky. I don't go to many anymore. Okay, I'm gonna go find something to wear. Be, be right back. <laughs> okay, can we just pretend that I'm like already in the house, okay? We're just gonna ignore the coat and bag situation because I feel like you just turn up and you put your bag somewhere on someone's bed and you hang your coat up. So this is what I've gone for. I feel like kind of dressy, but comfortable and I feel good in it. So this is just a Uniqlo cashmere jumper, but I know I'm gonna be inside. So it's quite a thin one. It's not like a super chunky jumper. I'm not gonna get too hot in it. I'm not wearing anything underneath. And I've just tucked it into my M&S leather trousers, which I really like, like a wide leg fit, which is the type of leather trousers that I feel happy in. They're really comfortable and like a soft leather. And then my Cezanne boots, uh, cause it's a shoes on kind of party. And they're brown snakeskin, which I think is nice cause it kind of ties in with the, the warm brown jumper going on. Uh, what else? Oh, my lipstick. My lipstick is Mac Spirit, which again, going with the kind of warmer brown tones is a bit more of like a nineties brown lip. I really like it it feels like you've made an effort and put on a bit of a lip without it being like whoa red lip which would feel too much for a house party and i think perfume wise i would go for eccentric molecules molecule 01 because i'm going to be around lots of people and this is the perfume that people always like compliment me on it's a very like whenever i smell someone else wearing it i'm like oh my god you wear molecules so it's nice when you're going to be in like close proximity with someone it's not overwhelming but it's like ooh, attractive smell so yeah i would just feel happy like this i'd maybe like put my phone in my back pocket and i think that's me house party woo, woo, woo. wait would you dance this is not how i dance wait how do i dance no i don't know i can't i can't, I can't. Oh, I forgot to mention my earrings are Missima. They're just like a chunky gold hoop, which I think makes it all look a little bit more like put together. I've chosen not to put a necklace on because I think it's nice to have the earrings, but like a clean area here. And I'd probably just like keep my hair back. Okay, I'm ready for my next scenario. Next up, you are going for brunch with friends. Ooh, love a brunch. Okay, brunch with friends. This is what I'm wearing. I feel very happy and comfortable in this outfit. I thought I'd start with the coat and the hat and I'll peel off the layers and show you what I'm wearing underneath. But from the outside, um, I'm wearing a Garni. Apparently it's Garni, not Ganni, but I, I honestly feel like a knob when I say Garni. So I'm just gonna say Ganni, but know that I know that's wrong. Ganni hat, this is a new Christmas present and I really love it and I love the green. It's kind of like a chunky beanie. This black, Bomber is, I'm gonna say it's Whistles, pretty sure it's Whistles, which is really nice and kind of light and a good like layering piece. And I've got my black Uniqlo mini shoulder bag as well. Very easy throw on bag weekend brunch. Let me just take these layers off and show you what's underneath. I don't wear this um, jacket enough actually. I'm looking forward to it getting a little bit warmer and I can wear this more. So this is what's underneath. The jeans are H&M 90s baggy jeans, I think. So comfortable. Honestly, so comfortable. And then I've been loving wearing this combo recently. So this is my Ganny t-shirt. Oh, Ganny Ganny, just realized. Maybe I'd switch up the hat. You don't want to have two things that say Ganny. That just feels cringe. I think I would change the hat. Uh, Ganny t-shirt and Cezanne green cardigan. I think this is the Barry cardigan. I really like how the green and the yellow look together. Like fun, colorful vibes. I just think those colors work really nicely together. And then I've gone for my Adidas Samba trainers, not the green ones. It would have been too much green going on. So I just went for kind of the neutral 
white black which kind of ties in with the t-shirt as well that's pretty much it i would feel very comfortable in this this is a very like me outfit i've been wearing it a lot recently i like wearing an open cardigan i'm trying to do that more instead of just doing it up and doing a french tuck hit me wait you need the mic okay so this one is not very pleasant but uh, they have a funeral coming up and they have no idea what to wear so can you help oh that's really tricky okay i think i think oh. God, it's quite like a sensitive one, but it is interesting. I do want to do this one because I think a lot of us have this issue. And I have some thoughts before I go upstairs and pick an outfit. I have some thoughts on this. Firstly, I think it's important to remember if you're if you're not close friends, family, no one really cares what you're wearing. Like they're not going to be looking around at what people are wearing. They are having the worst day of their lives. They're in their own little bubble. And I know that from having a family funeral. Um, I think some things to consider, it totally depends on the situation. Like, is this a religious funeral? Um, you might have to have your shoulders and your knees covered just out of respect. But I think other than that, if you know the person, it depends on the vibe. Like a lot of funerals I go to, people aren't super strict about like wearing black. If anything, sometimes people mention like you don't have to wear black. They don't want it to be like a really depressing day. Um, so they might acknowledge that you don't have to wear black. If they don't say anything, I would say just try and make yourself a bit invisible. It's not about you. You don't want to be like, drawing loads of attention to yourself. I don't think you have to be strict on wearing all black. Just wear something respectful and make yourself a little bit invisible. I will try and put something together. In the past, I've worn like a jumper dress, which feels like quite nice, like smart, but not, I don't know. I feel like what I put together might, you guys might think it's quite casual, but the funerals that I've been to, it's always been appropriate and fine. For the sort of funerals that I go to, this would be appropriate. I'm just wearing some kind of gray wash jeans, uh, boots, because often you need to kind of walk if it's like muddy or something, just a gray, cashmere jumper and a long black coat something kind of warm like I said make yourself look a little bit invisible it's just like not a big deal probably wouldn't even take a bag I'd just put my phone on silent in my pocket and I think this is pretty much it I'm very sorry to the person who is going to a funeral the next one was surprisingly popular but you're going ice skating ice skating who is going ice skating now okay ice skating I love ice skating pretty good at it I would say <laughs> okay I did have lessons. I did have lessons. Okay, I have thoughts. I'm ice skating ready. I'm ready for some ice skating. Things to bear in mind without making me sound very arrogant. I don't fool <laughs> that often when I'm ice skating. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about like getting wet. I, if you are someone that falls a lot, I don't know, what can you do? Like wear waterproof trousers or something? I don't know. I just don't, just don't go ice skating. I always never understand why you would want to ice skate if you're constantly falling over. It just looks awful anyway if i were to go ice skating this is what i would wear i know jeans feels like a strange choice because they're jeans but these are pretty like stretchy and i actually think i'd rather it be in something thicker rather than like leggings because if you do fall it's not gonna hurt as much and also they kind of keep you warm i think so yeah i would go in my uggs but these are so easy to just like slip off if you're gonna put on your ice skates and i've got some really like thick cozy socks on these are from arquette so that's a pretty easy situation i am wearing a cozy hat this is is old I think it's and other stories and also obviously I would bring gloves with I don't have any nice gloves I've just got these gray ones which don't really go but I feel like gloves make you feel like you're less likely to have your finger sliced off when you fall over which is like a big childhood fear of mine realistically I don't think they would do much but they make you feel better the jumper I'm wearing underneath is an Arquette cashmere high neck like roll neck jumper and I've just like tucked my hair in keeps everything out the way because when you're ice skating your hair's like blowing in the wind you know it just feels all nice and neat um crossbody bag if you haven't got someone to like hold your bag off the rink this is just doesn't get in the way you don't want like a proper crossbody bag and then I've just put this kind of mm, this is men's arquette it's old this jacket but I just thought something short rather than something long that kind of gets in the way is a bit kind of flappy and this is what I wore when I went ice skating it kept me warm and kind of looks nice as well so that would be my ice skating look <laughs> can't believe I actually had an opinion on that one with thoughts that's really random okay where am I going next because I am so hot right now I'm like overheating well there's more of that to come in this one, it's raining hard, it's windy, but you're headed somewhere where you can't change. But where am I heading? We don't know. Okay, so I'm heading somewhere where obviously I want to look nice underneath, but when I'm outside, it's raining a lot and it's windy a lot. Well, that's pretty common in London. The wind is throwing me a bit. Let's, let's pretend it's just like windy, but not like crazy wind, okay? Sure. You make <laughs> oh it my easy. God. I'm so hot. Okay, okay. I have a think. Okay, we have liftoff. 
Are you ready? I'm going to talk through. This was really hard. There were like a lot of elements to consider. Windy, rainy, want to look nice when I get there. I I'll talk you through my reasoning, okay? This is how I'm leaving the house. Okay, I've got an umbrella for the rain. I know it's windy. Umbrellas are not great in the wind, but I'm just not really like a hood person. They stress me out. I feel like I can't like get my surroundings and see people walking behind me. It makes me feel a bit nervous. So I'd rather have an umbrella and just hope for the best. So I've got an umbrella, but most importantly, in my bag, which I'll show you in a moment, I've got a plastic bag so that when my umbrella gets soaking wet, I can just like wrap it in a plastic bag. I don't feel bad putting it on like someone's floor or like you just don't know, like a soaking wet umbrella. So I'd always carry a plastic bag with me. So I've got my snood on. This is from H&M. It's like a ribbed knitted one. I love this. I have it in black and a gray. I just find with a snood, it's really good just for like keeping your hair like protected a little bit from the elements, from the wind, from the rain. I like having it on like the back of my neck rather than a hat. So I've got this on. I need to take it off because it's so hot. One minute. And then I've got my navy and other stories coat which is wool that's going to keep me warm it's not waterproof but I don't have a waterproof coat that I, is like nice enough to go out in maybe that's something I need to add to my list um so I've got this coat on and I've actually put my bag underneath because then it's kind of protected won't get soaking wet and I, I often do this just for like a safety thing as well it's pretty handy these like Uniqlo bags you can just put them under your coat. There is my Uniqlo bag. And I'm going for the black and navy thing with this outfit, which I am not offended by. In school, I was horrified by mixing navy and black, but I, I kind of like it now. So I feel like this is a smart-ish, smart enough outfit. Uh, the jeans are, I think these are Arquette. They're kind of my tightest, straightest jeans in a slightly darker denim. And I've put my Hush black boots. These would be great in the rain because they're leather and... I'm not gonna get wet feet. I think most of my other shoes would be terrible in the rain. Uh, this and other stories, black long sleeve top, which actually has like a really nice detailing, which makes it like a little bit smarter. And then this is new from Me and M, which I really like, it's just like an extra layer. It's this navy blue like boucle vest, which I just, it's so soft. And I just think it makes the outfit a little bit more interesting. And then I've kind of broken it up with a little black belt, which I think is and other stories. I think that's everything. Oh, I've also put on my lips, this from Beauty Pie, which is one of their matte lip crayons. If it's windy and rainy, you don't want like lip gloss or anything sticky that your hair's gonna stick to. So I just thought like a bit of a matte lip that's gonna last would be handy. I think that's everything. I feel like it sounds like there's so many details to this outfit. It's really not that exciting. Exciting, but you know I'm thinking seriously about these scenarios guys okay do you have the next one I'm ready the next one is parents evening oh I haven't had a parents evening yet I don't think yeah you have oh I have yeah oh how did it go <laughs> <laughs> I feel like at parents evening you just want to be comfortable look like yourself but also be presentable not seem like you're completely chaotic but also not seem too like intense I think I just need to look like me yeah okay why does that feel like it's really hard? Okay, this is gonna be so cringe for anyone who's watching who is a teacher because I guarantee the teachers do not give a shit what the parents wear to parents' evening. But let's just play along for the sake of this game. And I've thought through what I would wear to a parents' evening even though the teachers do not care. Uh, so this feels like a pretty me outfit. It feels quite like happy and positive as well. It's like these jeans are M&S and they're the wide leg jeans, which I really like. They're really comfortable and I think they're quite flattering. And then I've just put on my black Converse, which are really comfortable and quite like chill. The red cardigan, just for like a nice pop of color. This is Cezanne. I love it. And I'm just wearing a black vest top underneath. You can't really see it. And I've done it up to the top, but I've undone the bottom buttons, which I quite like the look of that. And then I've just got on my Gucci Soho disco bag, just like an easy throw on bag and I've also put my hair up in this little like tortoiseshell uh, claw so I can you know concentrate and see what I'm doing if I really thought about this I would wear this perfume <laughs> it's Jo Malone nutmeg and ginger this is one of like our wedding scents and I just think it's a very calm smell so I feel like you know if I smell like a spa and the teachers have you know back-to-back -back meetings with parents it might just chill them out a bit and they might just, you know, like the smell. They also might think like, hmm, she smells really clean, like she washes, because it's quite a clean smell. You know, want the teachers to think I'm clean. Don't know why. And then maybe I'll take my glasses with as well, just in case I need to read anything. Um, but I'm not going to put them on because it feels like I'm like taking the piss and trying to dress like a teacher. So yeah, I think that would be my parents' evening outfit. <sighs> Hope she does well. 
No pressure. Only four. All right. What are we? What are we working with? The next one is a long day in the city, shopping, eating, walking, but not too bulky. Okay. Yeah. That is so annoying when you're going in and out of shops and you get hot and then you're cold. And you've got to change a million times and like shoes and that's definitely a thing. Like if I was having a full shopping day in town, I would definitely think what is the best thing to wear. All right, I'm gonna have a little think. Okay, this is a very oversized look, don't hate. I know a lot of people don't like the oversized thing, but I really like it. And this is what I would feel comfortable in for like a day of shopping in and out of shops, trying stuff on. So first of all, I've got my Adidas Samba uh, shoes because they can just slip on and off. Don't have to keep doing them up because I mean, they have laces, but I don't do them. And then I've got trousers on instead of jeans because I find them just easier, again, to put on and off. I sometimes find with jeans, I just don't want to be trying on clothes. It feels like a bit of a hassle. I'm wearing a vest top under my top, which is important to me because just like a plain black vest top, because then if I'm trying on trousers, I've just got like a plain top that I can try them on with and it's easier to see you know, what the trousers look like. But then I've got this striped top, which I just thought would look nice, kind of popping out of the green with the black. And then this is a Lululemon coat. The reason I chose this is because it's actually quite thin. So if I need to, I can just kind of scrunch it up and put it in a bag if I decide I get too hot or I don't want to carry it. I don't have this like long wool heavy coat to carry. And then this is my Uniqlo bag, which I really love. Um, I feel like it looks good, but also it's big enough that I can shove things in if I go and pick up some bits and boots and I don't want to carry a bag. I can put some bits in this bag, which would be very handy. I think that's it. Oh, I've got my hat, my lime green Arquette hat, which is just like a bit of fun pop of color going on. That was a pretty easy one, actually. I feel like this is, this is. Uh, I think I wore this last weekend, actually. Okay, what's next? So for the next one, we've had two that I would like you to find an outfit that would work for both. So kids' birthday party and a long haul flight. Yeah, okay, I feel like I, could definitely think of something that works for both. Comfy, not white or cream. I'm gonna go get changed to be right back. Okay, I feel like this is maybe more kids party vibe than long haul. It kind of works for both, I think. So I'm wearing my Veja trainers, easy to slip on and off. Love the chunky vibe with my Vive socks and Lululemon Align pants, comfiest leggings ever. Super high rise, which I don't think they make anymore and they're just the best ones. My Anina Bing jumper, very oversized. If you know, I guess spillage, at least it's not a pale color. And then denim jacket, which is just a good layer. I feel like this looks good for a kid's party, but also if it was a long haul flight and I was going somewhere warm, it's like a kind of, it's not a huge bulky coat. Um, and I can layer t-shirts underneath this. Uh, hair up, a bit more of a casual weekend vibe or a flight vibe. And then if I was going on a long haul flight, I would probably wear my Lululemon bum bag, which I love underneath my jumper, just keep, all the family passports and my phone and essentials in there and then I could have like a rucksack separately. Kids party probably wouldn't have a bag, just have my phone in my pocket. I think that's it. What do you think? Quite like that. Casual. My, com like that. my comfort zone. Okay, one more. A 40th birthday party for someone who hates heels and super glam dressing. That's me. I hate heels. I don't own any heels that aren't like heeled boots and even then they're chunky. Hate glam dressing. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But I did go to an event recently. You guys would have seen my V vlog. I feel like I didn't really show my outfit properly in that video. So this is a chance to recreate the outfit I wore on the Vive press trip because I think that would be really good for a 40th birthday. It's kind of dressy but within my casual comfort zone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that outfit on. Are we ready? It's my friend's 40th <laughs> and this is what I'm wearing. This is what I wore to the Vive press trip. So the skirt could be like pretty dressy cause it's a slinky, silky number. This is from Nobody's Child. But I feel like I've made it feel more in my comfort zone, a bit more casual with a big chunky knit. So this is from Hush. It's totally sold out and I don't think it's coming back in stock which is really sad. It's, it's kind of a copy of the Totem jumper but I'm gonna see if I can find any alternatives cause this kind of contrast stitching is really popular at the moment. My Chanel bag, which I'm kind of just like holding, but I could wear it crossbody if I wanted to. And and other stories, pointed boots, which I don't know if they like, I think they do go. It, it toughens up the outfit. If I was wearing like proper heeled shoes, I'd feel way too dressy. So this makes it feel a bit like tougher for me and I really like it. And then like I always do when I want something to be a little bit more dressy, I add some kind of chunky earrings. So what I always do when I want to make an outfit a little bit more dressy is I'll add some like chunky earrings. These are just Missima hoops. Uh, I think the entwine ones maybe. A red 
lip. I don't look too closely. I kind of rushed it because we're battling with light here. And I just put my hair up as well. I probably could do it a bit nicer. This is just in like a little bit of a rough ponytail. And then I would probably wear a really nice kind of evening perfume. Um, Lilabo Tenoir 29 is gorgeous. I'm wearing this like all the time at the moment. Yeah, I think that that would be my, my choice. I'm also wearing the wrong bra. If you can see me wearing a black bra, I apologize. I need to wear a nude bra with this, but that's my outfit. What do you think? Is that everything? Are that's we done? Woohoo! Oh my God. It's always, I find these videos really daunting. But then I feel good when I've like made all the outfits out of just clothes in my wardrobe. Yeah, now I need like a friend's 40th to go to. <laughs> so that is everything. I'm gonna link down below in the description box all the links to everything that I've worn and let me know what you think of this. Maybe we can do like a spring edition. I don't know how often my wardrobe actually changes. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. I never ask for that, but it's free if you wanna subscribe. And thanks, see you soon. Bye.